Hello, welcome. This is Breath of Weapon X. This is uh, Rob. Um, there is only oh, nine days until Breath of Weapon X Fest 6, and we've only had a handful of people sign up so far. So I thought maybe uh, people might be struggling a bit with how to, not necessarily how to build for this this tournament. It's very simple. You just need one card. I think maybe what is possibly putting people off uh, as yet is the fact that, hold on a second, I don't have any characters in Dice Masters with 20 dice. You know, why would I need 20 dice when the card is a max one, two, three, four? You know, even in a best case scenario, there are two max six dices uh, characters, so that still leaves you quite short. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick little video to show you how to get around this. Um, so, uh, let's say you've chosen, um, for example, this man. I see interference. Um, so, you chose him, but again, you've only got maybe a handful of dice, maybe as many as 10, 11, 12 dice. If you drafted a lot of him um, but here's what you can do so the easiest way of doing this is grab as many dice from his uh, dice pool as you've got put them to one side then what you can do is you can go to the dice coalition team builder which is tb.dicecoalition.com and there you can type in you've got two options you can type in iceman which will give you all of the Iceman dice. You may have some of these sets. For, um, this will give you the option of, uh, potentially if you have all of these sets, um, as you see there, they've got the stat line. If you go to the X-Men Forever Iceman, he has exactly the same dice, but just in different color. That is a perfect way to add to your dice pool. So there we go. That will put you up to potentially eight if you're just doing max dice. And then again, Iceman from X-Men First Class, same die. Um, Amazing Spider-Man had a different image, as you can sort of see there on my thingy. But... Uh, it, more importantly the stats are identical and then right down the bottom you've also got uh, Uncanny X-Men also again you won't see this one but the same image same stats same energy so I mean just there with the max fours that is 20 dice there you go job done but hold on what if you're a newer player you might not have the older sets what you can do is if you go on the same website you can pop up to the tools the proxy dice which gives you this and then you can type in this man and in this case it has come up as a dud because it's got all the four five sets that i've told you all about but and it tells you that they all share the same same dice stats but there aren't any others let's try and find so uh, an example let's say gambit i'm going to use gambit this time and in this case gambit from dark phoenix saga gambit from uh, avengers versus x-men and multiple man shares the same energy and the same stats so if you were using gambit you could also use multiple man dice and vice versa and it's the, the only difference being that the image on the die otherwise they're the same let's choose a couple of others a falcon that's a falcon falcon it is a fist dice from the secret war set it has the stat line 022133143 um, it also has the same stats and energy as the Uncanny X-Men Falcon. It also has the same energy and uh, stat line as Vulture from 
Amazing Spider-Man. Little known fact, the Vulture die and the Falcon die use the same icon as well, which is an interesting one. Also, Wong from Infinity Gauntlet and the Doctor Strange team pack also have the same energy and stat line. There you go. So that is more than enough to get you by with Falcon. Uh, if you're using the Secret Wars one. Um, and if you had the same stats but different energy, then you could use Huntress from Batman or Green Arrow and the Flash. Now, if you've got... Uh, for this format, I would I would lean towards energy rather than um, stat lines. Because as long as you know... As long as you've got the stat lines in front of you, it might be worth printing out, drawing out the stat lines so that you can see the stat lines better. If you're if you've only got a few of the, the, the dice that you need, because another option, if we go back to here, is to use. Uh, so, Iceman is a bulk character die. On his faces, as you can see, he has a single bolt, a double bolt, a double bolt, a level one, two, and three character face. So if we then go to, oh, let's delete that. If we then go to action dice and choose bolt action dice, you can see, let's look at green kryptonite from the Superman kryptonite crisis set. It has a single bolt, move it up, a double bolt, a double bolt, a zero burst, which could be your level one, a single burst, which could be your level two, and a double burst, which could be your level three face. That's an easy way of distinguishing between level one, two, and three. And it also means if you're using these as placeholders for bulk dice, then uh, characters, then they don't have any stats to get in the way, so you don't get confused. I mean, we've all done it before. Um, so yeah, so you can use as a as a third option you could use a green kryptonite or uh, sorry not a green kryptonite but um an, a non-basic action dice basic action dices can't really be used because they have two energy generic on the three sides so you wouldn't know which was the single energy or not uh, but yeah there's as you can see there's a lot of options that are that are modern less modern and really golden there's lots of action dice all over all of the sets so you're likely to have some of those um, as a final option um, you can basically just find any bolt characters and substitute them in as a last option so if we've gone for Iceman you could use some black swan dice you could use some um, Dazzler dice it doesn't really matter as the last one but as I said as long as you make yourself aware of the stats you know as a last option that is a possibility uh, because you're almost certain to have even the newest of players are, are, are likely to have 20 bolt, dice, bolt character dice out there so yeah so the primary option obviously is the actual dice and then the secondary option to bolster that is dice of the same character. So, but different colours, like your uh, Uncanny X-Men version of Iceman. The, the third option is if you can find any characters with the same stat, uh, with the same energy and stats, like your Multiple Man and Gambit. And then as the, the final option is, oh, then there's the action dice. Um, and then finally there's the just any any of the same energy character it makes it a lot easier if you've got the energy so like as I said with the with the Falcon I could use a Huntress because it's got the same stats but then you you start rolling them you get halfway through a game you forget that the bolts aren't bolts the bolts are actually fists so it's easier to use fist dice that uh, or in Falcon's case fist dice that aren't any stats the same, like Carmine Falcon, for example, 
or bugbear ambusher or even the other falcon as long as you know the stats for the dice that you're rolling so yeah that's um that, that kind of brings us to the end really um so yeah get hopefully that encourages more people to come out and go actually yeah that's easy enough i can do that it sounds like a crazy format that that um yeah that i can get behind uh we've done a lot of we've done a, a, a reasonable amount of games with various different power cards non-power cards silly cards you know cards that we think are better that turn out really bad or think cards that are bad that turn out really good so there is no right and wrong answer with this one as long as it's three cost or more you can go for it and yeah come along and roll some dice uh, thanks for watching i uh, hope to see you on the 26th which is as a, as of recording this it is only 10 days away so yeah so come along and roll some dice